Hey garden friends, uh, it's mid-March and it's time to pull our geraniums we overwintered in the basement out and to get them ready to continue on growing through the season. Now these are the ones I put in the basement in their pot. Now if you can see, yes you can see, they are looking a little ratty. <laughs> There's no other word for it, but um, they also have a lot of new growth. It's kind of um, too white or very light green because it hasn't been getting sun. It's pitch black in the basement when the door's closed. So I am just going to remove the dead leaves, give it some water, and I will keep it here in the greenhouse um, and let it continue on. We are going to get a lot more rain, probably the next 10 days, rain and a little bit of snow. Um, and some very cold nights, but these will be fine in the greenhouse. I have, let me see, where's a couple of geraniums in here that have been in here a while and they're doing okay. So here you can see this one. That one's been in here wintering and is doing okay. Some of them did get attacked by what's called snow mold or also known as greenhouse mold. When there's no sun coming in here, um, that can start up and that can be quite devastating. But this one, even though it's looking pretty sad, it had the snow mold. I cleaned it all off, cut it back, and it seems to be um, doing better. So this one with the warmer temperatures, in fact, uh, it's 60 degrees in here. I don't even have my little heater on because it's so nice and warm. But um, yeah, it'll continue to grow on and do great. So these shall be fine. Now this one is the one that I had in the pot and these ones I'd never done it out of the pot before. So I'm gonna say, you know, clean off the roots and just put them in the basement. Now they're still green. Some of the stems are still green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a container of water and I am gonna let them soak it up while I work on this one. So they're going to rehydrate. I probably should have made it warmer water, like lukewarm, uh, but I didn't. They will be fine. The whole point is to get them to hydrate a bit before we pop them back up to grow on. Now I can see some of the flowers left on this one and that was a pretty pink one. So gorgeous, gorgeous. So anyways, those are rehydrating. These are going to get a beauty treatment. So, and I will just trim off the dead leaves. And some of them will just pull away to make it a little quicker. And those that don't will get trimmed. And they were, are reaching for light. Those ones are the new growth, so I'll let those be. I didn't even had a seed pod on it here. Maybe I'll just put the seed pod back in the pot and that can maybe get going and root. You never know what they will do. Yep, just using the tips of my little nippers. I love these little nippers. They're great for picking flowers. They're easier than the larger pruners for me to handle. Okay. So that one's looking nice. Er, and you'll be surprised. I'll come back in a few days to see how these have started to green up even more. It is very encouraging just to see the new growth on them, meaning they did live. I did not give them any extra water in the winter. I might have been able to do that and maybe improved what they looked like, but as long as they're alive, can only go up from here. So it's all good. So I will continue to clean this off and then we'll come back and see what we do next. Now these are zonal geraniums and or a true term for them is pelargoniums. Um, but in the US, we've gotten used to calling them geraniums even though they're not a true geranium, they are a pelargonium. I do have hardy geraniums, true geraniums, and um, I have a post on, do I, I think I have a video on dividing them so you get more. I love hardy geraniums, they're great filler, tough in the garden. I don't know about them making a good cut flower. I'm getting towards um, doing some, uh, some cut flower gardening 
and so I'm always looking up if certain flowers that I like to grow and that are great for pollinators are also good for cutting if they last a while in a vase. I don't know if geraniums will. I should check that out. Look that one up too. Okay, I try to pick up all the debris because that will uh, get moldy if you don't. This stems look a little yucky. Okay, let me cut this one back to where the growth is starting. Okay, I think we've got it pretty good. And if you nip off some of the new growth, it's not a big deal. It's going to start shooting out growth, especially if we keep getting any sunny days. Now, it's not that warm outside. It's just that the sun right now is hitting the greenhouse. As soon as the sun goes behind the trees, it'll start cooling off in here fast. But um, believe it or not, geraniums are a little bit tougher than a lot of people give them credit for. Okay, so I'm going to give this a good water after I move it because it's such a, a nice sized pot that once I water it well, it will get a little heavy. So to keep an eye on it, I think I'll put it on the shelf right here so it'll be right in front of my eyeballs when I come in. I think that's enough space for it to sit. Plus it'll get good sun here during the day as the sun moves. All right, I'll get my jug of water. Where do I put it? Oh yeah, the jug's right there. I have other containers I could fill it with. So let me well, we've been having all this rain and snow. I've been capturing rainwater. There's nothing like rainwater for watering. So as I have it in a galvanized tub over here. I usually have it right here, but I wanted to put, can you see my new pot? Ooh, I just love crocs. So there's the crock. So now we are going to move on. I guess I better put my phone in my pocket before I get something on it that I don't want. So here are these. So the same deal. We are going to clean them up and I'm gonna hold them over. Here's a container that I'm putting all the dried leaves and stuff in. Put them, they're pretty well stuck on there. They're, they're like leather, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them. Okay, this stem is kind of dried out, but it looks like it has new growth on it. So I'm gonna leave it and test it out and see. Now this, that piece is obviously old and yucky and I cut it to what down to where some green was showing. So um, that means that it's still alive, that cane or piece, and it will put out new growth. Don't worry about cutting all the leaves off. It's not like they're doing anything but sucking energy. And some of the stems that you have to cut back, they will all do fine. If you have to cut them back more later, that's okay. This is gonna put out new growth. New growth. So, we got that all done. I think I am gonna cut off the tip and see how that's gonna roll. All right, looks a little naked, huh? But all good. Put that back on there so we can get a pot up here to put it in. I think I'm going to go ahead and start them out in um, like four inch pots so they don't take up too much room and then pot them up further later. Uh, that may seem like a lot more work, but right now I'm more concerned with room in my greenhouse and I'm not finding. Aha, never mind, I found them. These taller pots, I used to get, they used to call them what, um, su Supreme four inches or whatever. I like these, they're nice and deep. Um, and I had some round ones that were from uh, buying things, plants last year, but I think I've been using them up. So this is enough to get this thing started, restarted. This is only mid-March, so um, I've got time to continue on. And if I had the room, I probably would have put them up in a one gallon can, pot, whatever people call them, container from a leftover from the um, garden center where I had purchased something else. I've got tons that I have recycled, tons and tons. So I like repurposing rather than buying new. Okay, 
so this is going to go over here on my garden bench and um, my glasses are making the top of my nose sweaty um, on my garden bench and it will continue on and be watered and put out new growth and like I said I will come back and I will let you see how these look in a couple weeks. Okay. Hey guys, I'm going to water my pelargoniums, well, yeah, pelargoniums that I uh, potted up. These were the ones that were bare root over the winter. And I'm gonna add some organic rev to their water. This is the growth stimulant that I enjoy using. And then I will water them well with it. So let me get some water out of my container over here. And then I'll add a touch of organic rev and water them in. I don't measure, I eyeball it. Plenty, plenty. Okay, to help it stir through, I'm gonna add a little more water. and call it good. So then I will just water enough, whoops, overdid it there, splashed. But I will water them in until the water runs through into the container below the catch tr tray. This is another one of those salad containers. This one doesn't have the holes in it because I wanted to use it as a catch tray. But anyway, so um, some will run through. I will let these sit so I know that that potting soil is well moistened in the water with the Rev for maybe 20 minutes and then I will drain it off. I'll just pour it into something else um, if it's not been absorbed. So now I don't think I mentioned this but all of these were ones I started from seed last year and I wanted to go ahead and overwinter them. For me, um, ones that I've overwintered have been bigger uh, through the season than the ones I start from seed. So these, um, we'll see, we'll check that theory because I've started more from seed and I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna get those and pot them up. But these are the ones that I grew last year from seed and saved over the winter. Now these are the ones that were not root in a pot. Um, and I also, I'll get the ones or one or two of the ones that is in my house that I overwintered in a windowsill and show you the difference. All right. Okay, had to put my hair back. It was getting in my way, but I promised to show you the one from indoors The geranium pelargonium that I have one of them. This is one of them that I dug up put into a smaller pot I had some in barrel um, bucket tubs and This one even you can see has a little bud on it. It's getting ready to bloom. These have been in my office window, which is a Western Eastern, Eastern facing window, and um, it gets enough light to keep growing through the winter just fine. And now it's even trying to bloom. I hope you enjoyed this update of my geraniums, pelargodiums that I overwintered in different ways. One in a pot in the basement, one, um, two or three others that were just bare root in the basement. And then uh, the one that was a representative, I have about six or seven in the windowsill inside my home that I overwintered. So I will see you in my next video.